please clearly explain to him why a nation's currency would be devalued and why is Jamaican's currency so low? All right, your, your currency is, is basically an indicator of your economic performance. So large countries who are producing a lot, they have a robust currency because what happens is that the, the value of your dollar fundamentally is the difference between your demand for foreign goods and foreigners' demand for your goods. You following? So if you have a high demand for foreign goods, say for example, you want to purchase a, I don't know, what does America make? America don't make Audis. So you want to purchase an Audi from Germany, right? But the only thing that you have to sell them, what do you make in Florida? You make oranges. Florida make orange juice, so you make oranges. So imagine you didn't have enough land, so you make a small amount of oranges, but you want to, you want to purchase a, 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 a Audi. Now, when the price of the Audi is very high, but the value of the oranges is very low. So what happens is this. You want to exchange the oranges for Audi, but it's not value for value. So that is how the exchange rate come in, because the demand, your demand for foreign goods is greater than foreigners' demand for your goods in value. In value. So in that case, that is what pushes up the exchange rate. That is what pushes up the exchange rate because you are not earning enough. So your, your currency cannot defend what you want to buy. And now, because the demand is so high, you want a lot of us dollars to buy the audi not you alone everybody wants it so that pushes up the price of the currency because there's a higher demand for the us from you so whenever demand for the us increases it pushes up the price that you would pay for the us so that is how the foreign exchange works so every time in a country you demand more it, for let me use jamaica now most of what we buy is from abroad to purchase this, we need the U.S. dollar. We don't have enough Jamaican goods to swap for the U.S. goods in order for us to earn enough U.S. dollars to buy what we want. So the limited amount that we have has to be, in some cases, quote-unquote, auction. So you go to buy 10 million U.S. The other host go to, goes to buy 10 million U.S. Who is going to get the 10 million U.S.? It has to go to the highest bidder. So I will pay the higher price and they sell me the money. So that price is the price now that the money is going to be sold to the others because I bought the bulk of it at that price. So when NCB, for example, or Scotiabank goes to the auction and they purchase US dollars for 140, 145 because they have a big portfolio of foreign currency that they want to appreciate in value, then the dollar itself is also going to increase in the price. So what happens? Scotia Bank and NCB's portfolio, the value of it expands, but the purchasing power of our money, meaning what the Jamaican dollar can buy, falls. It falls. Well, let me hear you say, Mountain, Mountain, Mountain.